Okay, let me find a tweet that the guy at me. His name is Rolando Tate. I don't know if he has any affiliation to the to the Tates. He did this. Uh, Velka's mid-scope abilities update potential thing. No one's asking for this. There is one! Vulcan generates a stack of insight each time he successfully triggers organic deconstruction against enemy champion or an epic monster. Each time Vulcan gains a stack of insight, he restores health to himself, equal organic gains, three ability power, and healing, equaling to the damage, which would go like from, well, start of the game like 50 to later on to like five, six hundred. Uh, that's a bit much. Also, against enemy champion or an epic monsters. So you could like technically, if you're running past Herald or Baron and or Dragon, you can just dump it and get three AP. Does three AP sounds much? I mean, I don't know. In my brain, the, in my brain, three sounds much. Because I mean, one ability from Vigar is one AP. But that's Vigar's entire kit is designed around that. Velkos has pretty good base damages. Anyway, I had a probably better one. Not this. Flat AP is always boring. Um, I had an idea where if you proc organic deconstruction against somebody, like true passive, like three stacks, you gain extra one percent true damage against the target. That's something I had in mind. Because I mean, you don't you don't land it too many times ac across the game on other people. But it, it would be like individual. Not like, oh, I hit Ash, I'm gonna do extra damage to Anivia. It's like Ash, but it does more damage only to Ash because that's the target you've researched in the first place. You can even split, you can make it 0.5% while also giving you one AP here. So you get a little bit of flat, a little bit of this. That also opens up a very interesting gameplay mechanic where if you believe there's gonna be a problem in the game, one character, you can choose to spend more of your game time on his side to stack damage against him specifically. So you're basically like hunting that target down. Let's say enemies have a super crazy tank that your team cannot deal with at all. Your job is to play around that enemy tank and like stack him, you know? Get to like 10 stacks on him so you get do extra 10% damage and that way you can deal with him. I don't know, we're gonna go through this. It seems interesting. Okay, let's continue uh, checking this out. So the inside is 3 AP and uh, healing. I think healing mechanic on Velkos would be very fun. It would probably make more sense. Actually, no. I'm thinking about mana, but it would make more sense with mana, but not really because his mana costs aren't that high anyway. He already has mana refunding thing. Maybe you can swap it? Make passive give mana while your Q would give healing when you execute? I don't know. It's interesting. Summer of change. Basically, when you unchange additional functionality added on whether the targets have been researched. Okay, so that makes sense. New passive research. I guess research enemy uses the primary bolt applies an additional stack of organic deconstruction. <laughs> and the slow no longer decays? Are you kidding me? 2.6 seconds with like 70% slow? Nah. You don't even have to apply the second stack. This amount of slow would just paralyze people. This would be 2023 shit. Straight up. That's a bit broken. Like, I'm gonna try to minimize all all of these, right? So it doesn't go like overboard. So the first one, instead of three AP, let's say two or like a percentage base. In this one, you can just keep it that you do extra damage to research targets based on their missing health. That's all, you can do that. And then you can do the slider on the fucking number to make it make sense. The slow duration, I probably wouldn't fuck with. It might be too crippling. Uh, cooldown reach are, for reach are removed. Now only normal static cooldown, 1.5 seconds required between casts. Wait, can you cast infinitely? Mana cost also changed to 40 at all ranks. Cost function I'll never change the stack in mechanic. Whoa, so you're spamming rifts? Additional functionality against research. Okay. For each stack, void rift mana cost increased by 40. That would be very fun. Um, It would make his gameplay mostly trivial because everyone would go tier Archangel and just spam W for wave clear. He will always get prior no matter what. Each time Velka's damage is a research enemy champion, this ability remaining cooldown life from this integration rate decrease reduced by 1.5%. Uh, that's not much. That's like one second. It's not bad. But if you land like your E and then W and then you can lower it by two seconds and then you would do another W, so that would be like three seconds, probably, maybe four uh, on a full combo. Not that terrible. Projectile status, non that's all we need. That is all we need. It's all I want in my life. I just want it to be a non-projectile. Yeah, this would be fucking insane. I, I think Velka's combo with this, because you can spam W, you would get uh, easy research, you, you will do double W. The combo would consist of doing Q at the end, generally, or Q at the start with a delay follow-up, right? You're gonna do Q from long range, follow-up with E, W, and then you would W again, and then Q, and that they would be paralyzed. That would just be so fucking cracked. Uh, okay, tectonic disruption. New passive research. Against research targets, enemies hit are also paralyzed for 0.75 seconds. As well, successfully hitting a research target ability cause all avoid rift stacks to be consumed restoring mana based on the amount of the stacks what so it's like a cassid in w recovery mechanic almost so if you have like you cast like four w's uh the mechanic goes up to 160 you hit e on a research target 
and then that would give you back 160 mana. Paralyze the new CC effect causing the target's ability cooldowns to be holded for a special period of time. Oh shit, that's actually not that bad. A unique mechanic that's not horribly broken. I like that. Projectile status. Love it. Mana restore 40 times number. Yeah, max. So max on six stacks, 240 mana. Alt, new passive reach against research enemies. The beam deals true damage instead and slows by up to additional. I like the additional because the slow on the ult is terrible. I think against the research target, the slow should be enhanced. That would make sense. Or like, as we suggested before, if enemies are moving towards you, the slow numbers are different because you're like moving through the fucking, you're moving through the disintegration ray. Like you're, you're, your skin flakes are falling, you know, your atoms, you're, you're just deionizing whatever, you know, and like you're, you're moving in. Uh, in summary, this is broken. Yes. I, I like it. I like it. But in summary, this is broken. You would like, this would have to be like, be super, super simplified. This is lingering on the ideas that I talked about, like unique effects based on the research, based on the ability, which you kind of use, but not based on which it procs, which is a bit too much, probably. That would make the champ too complex. Like which ability procs the true damage? How about just if it's their, if, it's, if their research, the ability does special effect. That would make more sense and be like a lot easier to understand. And it wouldn't be too weird to play, too abstract. Uh, I definitely like that. I definitely like that idea. Now, the question is, like, you would have to fine tune this. If you give, like, on researching target, like, 1 AP, it's fucking good. If you give, like, half a percent of true damage, it's good. Like, you know, anything. Just for, like, to have reason to, like, proc and to get rewarded for it, right? You would have to, like, really hold this down, I think. It would go out of, out of control quickly. Q, I don't think Q should slow that much. I, 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 I don't know. I don't think it should slow that much. Secondary bolts have their damage Amplified equal to percentage of target missing health increased based on distance. Yeah, the, the, see, that's like the mechanic that I was always talking about. I, I definitely like that. I, I really, really like that. Now, you, the thing is you can just fuck around with numbers here to make it balanced, right? Just enough to reward it, but not to make it broken. Probably unnecessary to do the slow, but you can test it out and see what happens. Because I think the slow would be really fucking powerful. It would be potent. But I mean, getting hit by Velka's Q is stupid. You shouldn't get hit by it, so I might make it more punishing. Uh, the W is a very unique mechanic. Very interesting with the mana stacking. Uh, I think the way Velkas would work, imagine these changes go through. Uh, the way Velkas would work, he would just be a mana caster. He would become a new Rise. He would become a new mana spamming, like Cassidy, you know? You, you would just do Tear into Rod, and then you would go Archangel. That's usually how you would go. Because the W is too powerful and proking your passive means you can get healing. So you can benefit from getting more HP. You can benefit from getting more mana, more CDR, more spam, more healing, more refreshes, uh, more procs of your passive means more AP, more damage. So actually building a tanky variant of Velkas with infinite mana, would come down to late game with more damage than the regular glass cannon. So that would become his playstyle if this, like, all of it, like, would go together. Uh, losing projectile status on two of his abilities would make him a S tier mid laner. He would just win every single matchup, no matter what. And that would be just yee yee. I like the R extra slow. Extra slow on R is pretty fucking good. This is a very uh, minor thing. Additionally, Velka's granted true sight of research targets. So if you research somebody and hit them with all, like, across the wall or out of the vision, you would get sight on them. That's a really unique thing and cool that it really misses like that that thing is missing for Velkas. i like it but a bit overtuned mid scope Velkas update what do you guys think about it let me know in the comments below